The way we use energy is changing. As we transition to net zero, we're looking for alternatives to fossil fuels to heat our homes and power our businesses. But this change isn't new. It's just a small piece in the energy evolution of the last 200 years. Gas was first introduced to light Britain's homes before growing competition from electricity saw us use gas the way we use it today, in cooking and heating. But whilst the way we use gas was the same, the type of gas we used wasn't. Until the 1960s, a blend of gases containing hydrogen called town gas was supplied to customers. But in 1966, a new fuel source was found in the North Sea. This discovery offered a cleaner and more reliable way to heat our homes. And Britain announced the changeover to the gas we know today, natural gas. From 1966 to the 1970s, over 30 million households and 40 million appliances were converted. It was a feat of engineering. 20,000 staff worked to convert every gas installation in the UK, traveling across the country in a self-sufficient town. But the conversion was not without its challenges, much like the challenges we see today in the journey to net zero emissions. Some customers had concerns about the new gas. Large-scale trials were done to test the use of natural gas. And the industry embarked on a coordinated communications programme spanning over a decade. Conversion is essentially a very good and important move. Conversion vastly improved the gas infrastructure and also incited a new safety regulations and reduced emissions. The government saved an estimated £100 million per year on the import of oil and gas and by 1980, natural gas made up over 50% of the domestic gas supply. Natural gas gave customers a choice to move to a cleaner, safer and more convenient way to heat their homes. As we look for cleaner and greener fuel sources today, we want to keep the customers at the heart of the evolution. As we look to the future, we must first look to the past to understand what lessons can be learned from this ongoing journey.